somebody come save you, everybody in Dallas. <laughs> Woo yeah, baby, yeah. Woohoo, man, this is gonna be fun, guys. Guess what? I'm gonna jump on a plane and I'm gonna go over to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania today, and I'm gonna go take a test drive in an MRAP. Now, if you don't know what an MRAP is, it stands for Mine Resistant Ambush Proof Vehicle. And you're asking, why the hell do you need an MRAP? And I answer you, why the hell not? I'm in the damn prepping business. I need an MRAP. You know, if somebody gets in trouble, who are you going to call? You can't call Ghostbusters, but you can call Atlas Survival Shelters with an MRAP because that sucker will stop a 50 cal machine gun. So we got to have it, guys. We just got to have it. So, hey, listen. Stay tuned in the video because I'm going to announce the winner of the giveaway from the last video. And I'm going to tell you how you can win prizes from this video. So guys, stay tuned, buckle up and enjoy because we're going to go to Philadelphia, Pennsylvania right now. Okay, look at all these MRAPs. So which one's mine? <laughs> How you doing? I'm Ron. Good, I'm Ted. How you doing? Good. Mechanic. Yep. So I don't know anything about these things. So I just want to know about the air brakes. How hard do you think it'd be to change the oil, start it up, drive around the parking lot? All right. This is kind of fun, ain't it? Yeah. You ever driven an MRAP? I feel safe every time I roll out. And I know my friends feel safe as well. There's a white man with four times here, and he's passing on the last break. Roger, all big, keep eyes on that vehicle over after your starter. Keep it on that day. Not an MRAP, no. <laughs> Not every day. So this thing's supposed to stop a 50 cal. I wonder how it does it, unless this is full of sand. I was trying to figure that out. How do they do that? Different layers of armor on here? Yeah, this, that's all up armored. That's all that. So well, I can't imagine that. a 50 cal. That would stop a 50 cal, but I could see where you have these different layers here. There's lots yeah, of... You've got all this here. I mean, it's just... That's all straight steel. Well, it's AR-500, but that's only, that's three-eighths right there, and this yeah. is only quarter, but it's double-layered. So you got a half-inch there, I mean, then three-eighths. The there's drop-in um, ceramic balls that actually, uh, okay, yeah. And, there's uh, ceramic balls in there. Yeah, there's the ceramic balls that are encased in um, aluminum blocks, and then there's a, uh, strips of uh, aluminum that's about this thick. Tell me about tires. These t this thing is a 2008. Do yeah, tires yeah. go bad? Now these are these are run flat tires. So they're run flat. They actually have a rubber. There's a rubber insert. There's air in them, but mm -hmm. once they run out of air, they'll actually sit on a rubber insert inside yeah. the inside the tire. Yep. So you've been out here a few times. Yeah, a little bit. Yep. Okay. Well, what would you look at first if you were me? Uh, first things first. Was start it up. Well, check the oil and then start it up. See how. Okay. All right. Sure you got yeah, we'll do all that. How do you open the hood? Oh, is that missing a wing nut? Yep. Yep. We'll steal one off another one. Bye bye. You got the keys to this? This one, some of them have keys, some of them just are push buttons. Does this one have keys or push buttons? I'm um, pretty sure it's push buttons. So that one's got a dually wheels on it. 
Looks like the tires are better off on that one. Let's deal with this one, number 10. Uh, that one's a cargo car, or that one's more, uh, they're all different. They're built for different applications. Really? Does mine have a winch on it? This one has a winch. I like this number 10. Oh, it's got a side door though. Oh, it's also got a back door. Yeah, it's got a side and a back. The tires. Really nice. It's got a turret up there for a machine gun. Is this what you guys do, work on diesel trucks? Yep, uh, okay. we work on just about everything. I mean, you could say you've done it all after this one, huh? Almost. If you spot anything, notice it, like air brakes. Are those the air brakes down there? Yeah, those are your brake chambers. Now, what does it take? Is it, what's the deal with air brakes? I'm not a trucker, so I, I was read that it's hard to register them. Uh, sometimes if they have air brakes or you gotta have a certain license or... Yeah, it, sometimes you may have to have a CDL for it technically. Really? Especially as a civilian. So, and this one will probably be, a, since it's not articulated, it'd be a class B license. Really? Mm -hmm. Well, this thing only has 160 miles, but it's a 2008 GMC title. Yeah, it, it's all, your, your, it all depends on the weight. Really? Well, it was 44,000 pounds. Then you have to have a CDL for that. Oh, gosh. Especially if I can get up here. <laughs> have you ever opened one of these turrets up? Yeah. I want to mount a machine gun up there. Feels more like the captain of a boat, don't it? Yeah. What's that? <laughs> Coming out. There's some bugs. So it's got what, 160 hours? Or uh, miles, I mean? Yeah, this one has. Oh, this. Is that a door? Oh. This is an emergency door right here. Oh, where? Right here. Oh, this one is? Okay, so it's got an emergency door. Looks clean in here. I got the machine gun. It's got to get a turret up there. I think it'd be too tall to go down the road, though. It's got, and it's got air conditioning, right? Yeah. Heat, too, doesn't it? What's that? It's got heat? Yeah, yeah. Heat and AC. This is What's that thing there? Oh, oh that's, no like, that's all your climate controls. Does it have a winch on it? This one will not hold such a lot. Okay, so this one has a little sticker up there that says bulletproof it, body armor. Garmin. Okay. How's your oil look? He said, he said they changed your oil when they bought them all. Yeah, the oil was good. Tell me what it would take to change your oil in this. I understand you got to take off the uh, body armor under the bottom. Yes, you do. Can you look at that and tell me I what's can, involved in that? Yeah, I can do that. What's that? Was the oil clean? Yes, the oil was clean. Got this guy here is going to be your access point. Okay. Oh, it does have a winch, but I don't see one in there. I don't think it's got a cable now. Hey, you're gonna have to take off. To get it, to get to everything, you gotta take this piece off right here. Yeah. You got bolts up underneath here, but that requires taking this off. All of this. It's not an easy job to do these. What do you think it costs to change your oil? Change this oil. I mean. I know. I, I mean, normally oil change is a hundred bucks, but what do you think? Four or five hundred bucks? No, I'd be looking closer to a thousand. To be thousand honest. bucks change oil. So this has a winch, but no, it has the. So it's got a winch in there, though. 
So if you run over a car, it's pretty good. So where can we drive it? Around the parking lot? Okay. Four-wheel drive? Okay. You think that thing's a chick magnet? It's a guy magnet, I can tell you that. I think every guy would walk up to you and say, man, you got an Imra. Jump in and take a ride in it now. Oh, you got a little button you just press? Okay. How much fun was that? It is a just, lot of fun. Go, just, go, just go to the right, I guess. It has four wheel drive. Oh, okay. The only thing that I'm seeing right now is that your gauges, none of your gauges are working. The only gauges that are working are right here. And what What's gauges are pressure? those? This is your air pressure. When it gets down to a certain point, it'll beep at you. Yeah. Basically, when your air gets low. Do you have to build up the air on these things? You have to build up the air. So I've never driven nothing like this, so I know nothing about it. If you get down to it, about here, it's not going to let you release the brakes. So, is so there, you, is, do you think there's a problem with the air? No, 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 oh, no. Oh. This is, it's working fine. I'm just was showing you that when you get down to like 30 psi on these two, yeah, you can't release the brakes. You won't go anywhere. Go ahead, and close the door, I guess. Unless you want to come along. You could get 10 people in here easy. Oh, absolutely. Yeah, I like this machine gun turret because it's got the one you can turn around, and I still got a porthole over here I can shoot out of. Plus, this will be my machine gun mounted one. Right. It's got the little flip up on it, too. All right, let's go. We'll go right, go through the dirt. All right. Yeah, once the air builds back up, then you can go. So, you got to build up the air before you go? Right, because it won't release the brakes. So, you really got to learn how to drive one of these. Absolutely. Okay, wow. So, a truck driver would know how to do this. Oh, yes, absolutely. And at what point do you know you have enough pressure? Right about now, like 90 PSI, like where it's at now. Yeah. It will be fine. You and that's only it. for your brakes? Correct. Okay. So now you can put it in gear. Okay. Push that in, you release your brakes. Can we like drive over a car? You think it would crush a car? Oh, it would absolutely crush a car. Well, it weighs 45,000 pounds, yeah. Yeah, it, it would definitely crush a car without a problem. Take it out on the road and get up to about 45, 50 miles an hour, would you? I'm guesstimating because my gauges aren't working. Oh, you don't have a speedometer? No, the speedometer is not working, so. Well, go left or right, I don't care.
conditioning works good. Yes, it does. never been used and never got deployed okay then, all right all right so how do I do this basically okay hop up in there all right here we go guys my first time to drive an MRAP oh shit <laughs> this is more like a cockpit than anything so now what do you do so, just keep your foot on the brake hit the, on D. the brake yep hit the D yep hit the D Push in push this? In, yep. Push this in? Push that in. Then okay. what? Now you're good. Okay. Go ahead and. Well, there's a car coming. But hold on. I want plenty of room. Man, I'll tell you what, I do not want to be driving this around Dallas freeways. Yeah, oh, it's got power, it's got power steering. Keep going. Uh, 
Right there is good. Okay, now what? Uh, hit the end. The end? End. Okay. And then pull the yellow, yep. Pull it? Pull it. That applies your brakes. Okay, then what? Now, so this has no keys, you just press a button? Where it says number two, push that down. Yep. And then where it says number one, hook that down. How do you know all this stuff? Yeah, this huh? Yeah, you're good. How do you know all that? I you... actually was in the Marine Corps. Oh, so you have, oh, okay, <laughs> so is this just like in the military? Yeah, for the most part. What do you think? Uh, I haven't been in an MRAP, but I was in the seven tons of Humvees and the LVSRs, LVSs, which are really big, articulated, kind of like tractor trailers, but they're mainly what those guys do, like the LVSs and LVSRs, they, they take around all the big quad cons. Yeah. And stuff like that. Well, how, how, how do you think, what do you think about this? How did it drive? This thing actually drove a lot better than some of the stuff that I was used to. Really? Yes. And right. it actually had good AC, which we never had. <laughs> So you know how to open that? I could. It just got two handles. You pop those two little handles. Go ahead and do it. Pop, they're already popped. You pop that one. Yep. Then you pop that one. And then this one over here. And it should allow you to stand it up and access the machine gun. Okay, there you go. Yep. <laughs> so I guess that thing sticks up so it covers your back, right? The plate? The whole thing's going to turn, and that's, that's, got, that's like your backup right there. Well, I can mount them. It's got a machine gun pintle mount right here. Yeah, how do you crank this thing? How do you turn it? How do you turn the turret? You're gonna, you gotta release in here. Okay, then how does that it turn? Releases in, I remember right, it just. Is there a crank handle or something? Uh, or is it electric? This one may be electric, but I can't quite remember to be honest with you. Well, the machine gun, I guess this is the, the pentel right here. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and then what's this one over here? That's just a shooting port. I guess you can open it up and shoot out of it as well. Yeah. Wow, this thing's pretty cool. This one's rated for stopping 50 cal. That's amazing to be in here and take 50 cal hits. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, that's max protection, but there's a wall there, you know? So if you get behind that wall, it's got what, ball bearings in it and stuff? Ceramic ball bearings plus all that AR plate. Wow. What else does this thing have in it? Does it have like electrical outlets or it's got different AC switches so you can turn them on and off in different areas? Tires. Tell me about these tires. These tires are 13 years old. Does it matter? Uh, the best that I would be looking at for those is um, like dry rock in certain places. Can you check it out? Yeah. Um, what does a tire like this cost? Those thousand dollars a piece, a couple thousand a piece, or what? Uh, now, has this got two fuel tanks? Yeah. It's got twin fuel tanks. Uh, the exhaust. Hey, buddy, check out this exhaust. Yeah. Um, I, I see it's got the heat blanket around it, but it's pretty rusty. What do you think about the exhaust? Does it need to be fixed, replaced, or is it good? No, I think, I mean, that it's not it, leaking. It'd probably be the first thing to go, right? Yeah, up in here would be. Look like it got well, some. None of them, they're not leaking. Yeah. But, I mean, they're a little rusty, but that's what yeah, Look at that bumper. That's a 3 8 plate. Man, you run you run over somebody in that thing there. Wow. That's going to hurt. And how how was the engine? Was it clean looking? Yeah, it, like new? It looked like they just pressure washed it or something. Oh, really? Yep. Wow. I don't know how many people have their own private MRAP in this country. I think it's pretty cool, though. Well, guys, what do you think? You think buy it, have it, have some fun, show it off, decorate it, 
make it a little showpiece, bring it to the shows and let you guys drive it when you come visit the Atlas factory or walk away from it. Put your comments below. Let me know what you think because I'm going to listen to you because I've never had an MRAP before or anything with air brakes. But uh, it sure was fun to drive. It's a little scary to drive, but uh, it was very, very cool. Um, very, very cool. I must say. So guys, as always, thanks for watching my video today. I'll see you on the next one and I'll announce that winner as I do every week. So guys, I hope you enjoy that ride in the MRAP. That was fun. That thing actually drives really smooth. I mean, after everything was said and done, it wasn't that bad. But you know what? It's time to give away a prize. So in every video, I'm giving away these, these AK-47 AR-15 wall hanger things that you like you see right here where you can hang your bags up in. So let's go ahead and give away one from yesterday's video. Not even 24 hours later, we're going to have a winner. Siri, give me a number between 1 and 500. It's 58. 58, okay. So the winner is 58 or the closest person to 58. And my favorite color is blue. So if you picked 58 or you're the closest one to it and then you've got the color blue, that is my favorite color. It is not yellow. But guys, we're going to do it all over again. In today's video, you pick a number between 1 and 1,000. And it, whoever's closest or if you nailed on the head, you get your choice of an AK-47 or an AR-15 like you see here. And for the $100 bonus, this is a very tough one. Name my favorite president, my favorite U.S. president, okay, for the extra $100 bonus for only for the winner of the gun, okay? So guess the number to win the gun. If you win the gun and you guess the president, you win in a $100 cash bonus. So guys, I hope you're having fun watching all my videos. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hit the indicator bell because YouTube hates people like me because I stand for the Second Amendment and the right to bear arms. So they don't like to share my videos. So if you don't hit that little indicator bell, they probably are not notifying you about my videos. So make sure you do that. But guys, as always, I love you. I'll see you on the next video and it will be very soon. Hello, Atlas Patriots. Thanks for watching today's video. You know, we live in unprecedented times. Ron asks, if you would like to support yourself and this channel, then go to shelterwithatlas.com and take a look at all the specials on survival food and supplies that Ron has arranged to help all his loyal subscribers. As Ron always says, it's better to have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. Remember, this company and all other Atlas approved products are located on the sponsor's page at the Atlas Survival Shelter website.